Take a letter, Mr. Jones. Feel a letter, Mr. Jones. You have my appreciation. You always save my life. I'm a perfect combination. Good morning, Graham. Hi, Mr. Is that the memo for the sales force? Yes. Would you write the target figures in capital letters, please, and underline them in red? Yes, I'll send out a couple of Valium tablets with each copy. <laughs> no need to be facetious. Can we do a diary check, please? In a minute, yeah. Here it is. Oh, Daisy, I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> right. Ten o'clock, you've got a meeting with the managing director, Mr. Lewis, and the board, and at 12.30, you're taking your daughter to the dentist. Oh, yes, little Lucy's been going on at me about it since this morning. She always likes me to take her. Oh, what about that reporter chap? Oh, yes, Robin Hayes, two o'clock. He'll be trying for his usual chauvinistic angle. Can a woman be a successful top business executive? He did one last week about a woman who's just become a commercial airline pilot, as if that was so extraordinary. Which is rather unusual. Oh, I don't see why. I'm sure if I set my mind to it, I could fly a jumbo jet across the Atlantic and land it safely. I don't know so much. I remember the other day watching you taking 20 minutes to reverse your car into that space in the car park. Really? A jumbo jet does not fly in reverse. No, we haven't flown one yet, have you? Now listen, this Hayes chap is really going to try and trip me up. Ah, well, don't worry. I've done a few notes, a brief synopsis of your life and career. Oh, we are. One for you. Thank you. I'll give it to him. That'll make sure that everything he prints is accurate. Now then, Mrs. Joan Victoria Warner, born in Guildford in 1904. Yes, I don't think he'll be interested in dates. Uh, can we alter that to in her 30s? Can I make it early 30s? I don't know. Do you think so? Well, if we pull the blinds down and switch the lights out, we can make it late 20s. <laughs> no, just make it in her 30s. Her 30s. Right, Mrs. Warner had an amicable divorce. Well, accurately speaking, he was a chauvinist pig. <laughs> so is this reporter. Yes, you're right as usual. I'm going to have to impress on him that I'm a successful business executive with a reputation for making split-second decisions. Yes? Mrs. Warner, Daisy's making some coffee. Would you like a cup? No, thanks, Brenda. Uh, on second thoughts, yes, I will have one. Uh, black or white? Uh, well, I prefer it black, really. I should have it white, less stress-making. White, then? Uh, no, black. Biscuits? No, thanks. Oh, yes, I will have just one. Oh, no, maybe make it two. Now, where was I? You were talking about your ability as a split-second decision-maker. <laughs> Take a letter, Mr. Jones. Feel a letter, Mr. Jones. You have my appreciation. You always save my life. I'm a perfect combination.